Wrapping up this year's NBA Donruss, we have the retail box. Did we save the best for last? Let's find out today. Let's go! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the compound. This is J Ruth Gaming. Today, to kick off the week, we got our last Donruss, NBA Donruss product that we'll be reviewing today that is the retail box so excited about it this is pretty much a step up from retail and just below hobby so in my opinion for what you pay for like a product a sealed product for these these have the potential to be the best product out of an entire set, essentially. Retail's gonna be hit or miss, but fun for the price you're paying. But like hobby, a lot of times, oh boy, you get crushed with hobby, especially paying those higher prices. So a retail box, you're gonna get the volume of cards here. Check that out. Eight packs, eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box. That's a lot. Looking for, I'm look for, which means you're not guaranteed an auto, but they could be in here. Let's see what else. We're gonna find the hollow yellow laser. We've got our yellow tie to match. Hopefully we get that there. And we have some numbered cards here. We wanna pause the video, take a screenshot. Get me in the shot. There you go. Number to 25 is the potential there, which would be pretty cool. We're chasing big guys from this and which is cool. Tomorrow is the kickoff for the playoffs. We got the play-in starting tomorrow night. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun for sure. Uh, there's four, yeah, four. The play-in, we won't talk about like the actual, like what, like how the play-in is. We'll keep it to the cards, but we're, we're excited. There is a lot of potential here. OKC is in the play-in, so like, if they beat the Pelicans, hoo, 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 boy, watch out. You never know. I know Chet's hurt, but you never know. You never know. Lakers, T-Wolves, nothing too, too crazy there. The Heat, Hawks, Raptors, and Bulls, too. So, like, I personally, I know I'm a big Zion guy, but Zion, I don't think he's going to be here making this playoff run at all. Even if they make it deep, I don't think they're going to run him. I'm not too, too sure. So, I'm kind of rooting for OKC here. A lot of studs on the team. A lot of studs so i'm excited about it kicking off the week with basketball these are i'm not gonna lie it's a lot of, there's a lot of cards here eight by 24 it's a lot of there's a lot of opportunities so we got these from card giant shout out to card giant by the way we get a lot of product through them sealed products like this where you're not going to be able to find those in most places sometimes sometimes like in the past we were able to walk into target and you'll see just a full box like that just kind of sitting there sometimes now target mainly has limits you can only pick up five but i've seen people throughout the country just grabbing the whole box so i don't know what the rules are these days at target i haven't really seen too much of retail boxes like this like it would kind of be sitting on the shelf just like so there just like so it'd be sitting on the shelf kind of grab one or two of them see what happens now this is going to be one box mind you of a full case okay so every store when you get their allocation they only get a box right so it's not the full case just for what it's worth there so if you get a case hit if there even is going to be a case hit which we checkered board typically for Donruss well Donruss is technically checkerboard is technically prism but from retail boxes typically it's checkerboard but I don't see any there I want to sleeves up. Color matches are awesome. The green laser. We're obviously looking for yellow. It's going to be the exclusive. So we'll see what happens here. So this is going to be our farewell to Donruss. We've done reviews for the blaster, the value packs, the hobby boxes. We had our box break over the weekend, which was incredible. Thank you for everyone that came out to the live event and hung out with us. It was, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun for sure. We had a hobby box there too. Actually, we had a pretty decent auto from it also. You can watch any of our old box breaks right here on YouTube. Just check out the live break category here on YouTube to watch how we do the box breaks. 
get involved. The next one will be posted, I'm sure, within the week. But our true J Root Gaming professionals here on YouTube will get that notice first. There we go. We actually got a goal, which I am thrilled about. And there's Jimmy B. So there we go. See, like, I'm rooting for him. Let's go, OKC. Jimmy Buckets out of 25. So you're not going to be guaranteed here. Remember, the yellow, even the yellow say look for it's not one per box or anything like that. So to get a number 25, I'll take that for sure. The last time we did a, an opening like this, we did not hit the one, the number card. So there we go. 17 out of 25, it looks like. Yep, 17 out of 25. That's going to be the chase in its rookie form. You get this in one, the rookies. Oh, big time. So I'll take that right there. Jimmy Buckets coming in hot. I'm sure, I am sure he's going to be balling out against the Hawks there. Not too sure what's going to happen. What do you guys think? Comment below. What's, we, what's gonna happen tomorrow night? I know I was gonna talk about the NBA and just keep with the cards, but I have to. We're in playoff time. So much fun, so much basketball to be played. I think I'm going to root for, now I'm a 76er fan, so my team going against the Nets a little bit later uh, in the week, I believe. I think we're pretty sure we're playing a little bit later in the week. I think that's what it is, or it might be, it might be the weekend. I think we're one of the first games that's going to be to play, though. Kind of focusing on the play-in right now, people. One, one level at a time, please and thank you. So, OKC, I am rooting for against the Pelicans. If Zion was there and he was playing, I think it'd be rooting for Zion. But OKC is just, they're super young. They're super fun to watch. There he is, Zion's like, wait, you're not, you're not rooting for me? Bro, you're not playing. How can I, not, how can I root for you? You're not playing. And OKC is going to be the, the team I'm going to be rooting for for that series. There we go. Matherin there, stud, stud. I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna be the runner up for the rookie of the year. Pretty confident he's going to be. Pacers did not make it this year, but still a guy that we are going to sleeve up, protect. He has some nice value a little bit later. You know what, I might as well sleeve up. I already sleeved him up, might as well throw Yang here in a load or two. I'm telling you, now is the best time to either send in cards to get graded, we have stacks of sport cards that we send into PSA all the time to get graded. I'm telling you right now, we send a lot of basketball cards in of players on these bottom teams that are or just snuck in, right? That could make a run. By the time you get that those grades back, it's going to be playoff time, which is awesome. So you could be sitting there with one of the rookies that go off on one of these teams, which could be absolutely incredible. Could be incredible. What if OKC does beat the Pelicans, right? And then they're the, what, they're the 10th? So they would have to face the winner of the Lakers and T-Wolves, which I'm a big, big Ant-Man fan. Love Ant-Man. Love him. And I think everyone wants to kind of see the Lakers lose unless you're a Laker fan. That's just kind of my opinion there. <laughs> Sorry, Laker fans. But I would think... T-Wolves is what I'm rooting for. The Lakers, though, they have some of the best players when they want to be, when they're healthy. LeBron James, AD, you name it. So, like, they're all there. They just got to play. They should beat the Timberwolves. I don't know, though, what's going to happen, obviously. So, I think those two, that's, ooh, there we go, Pancaro. So, that's, listen, this is the guy I am chasing hard here. You get this in the in the yellow laser number to 25. I'm jumping up and down, yelling, throwing stuff. Maybe not throwing stuff, but, you know, we're having a good time. There we go. The best thing about Retail Box, going back to the box itself. Why I love these boxes. There's a ton of cards in them. A ton of cards in them. If you have an opportunity to grab yourself a Retail Box, grab it for sure especially when they first drop it's just you can sit here forever just ripping cards which is fun yes you're gonna get a lot of fluff you're gonna get a lot of these base cards which is just cool to collect build team bots do that kind of thing right but with a lot of cards you get opportunities and you only need one or two cards per retail box and it's in my opinion worth it because they're stepped down from hobby 
right? Just are. And you can get some good stuff. So in my opinion, I love this product. Any retail product, I always rip these. Always rip these. There he is. There's our Ben Simmons that we're just not even dealing with. We were doing that every single time during the box break last week, every time he came up. And that, you know what? Might as well just keep, keep it going. Keep it going for sure. Now, the one thing I will say, we haven't hit a rookie card yet. That's not a laser. About halfway through this thing, and no laser card yet. Oh my goodness. I'm half, don't get me wrong. Throw that we got the number 25. But I'd love to see a laser out of these rookies. Even all of the Donruss other retail products that dropped, we didn't get. There's Chet. Real. We only got, actually, we got Chet in the, what was it? Hollow Green, I think? But I think I got that at a trade show. I think I opened that off camera with a blaster at a trade show. I'm pretty sure that's why we did that. So we really haven't hit any good laser cards from any of the products, which is super interesting. Super interesting for sure. Now the value, you get the laser card, they will hold this value pretty, pretty well. NBA Donruss, on the other hand, just the, the base cards, they're okay value wise, but they gotta, they gotta be the guy. They gotta be the guy. You get some of these bottom players and they're nothing too, too crazy. Hey, Murray, it's a backwards card. Can we get the laser? There it is. So we talked about it and it showed up. Murray was actually the auto that we hit in the box break. They face Golden State Warriors, the third seed, the Kings. So listen, here's a guy right now. Somehow the Kings beat, I can't even say somehow, Golden State's six. There's six in this chart, man. Kings are third in the West, that's crazy. Imagine if they beat them. Imagine if they beat Golden State. There you go. There you go. That auto would be huge too, by the way. With this top, what was it? Number to 99, I think we had Murray. Absolutely incredible. All right, couple more packs to go here. I'm already thrilled with the results of it. We got three of the base rookie cards that we do collect. We did hit our one optic rated rookie, which I'm thrilled about. And we did hit a gold. So we hit the gold. There's one rated rookie. I like the Tatum, the color match. And this stack here is guys, four of them we actually hit. All loader guys that could make it the PSA for grading, which is perfect, which is what you want. You always want to hit a couple guys there. So thrilled, thrilled with this retail box for sure. Like most of my reviews, everyone, I try to be as honest as I can. This, these products right here is the way to go my opinion what you pay for them it's not that much compared to buying like a bunch of blasters or a bunch of value packs rocket smith the junior actually was a pretty decent rookie this year so we'll take that rockets are just young jalen green still hot there all right let's take the rest of these packs out there we've been ripping here for a while now what's the time on this Almost 15 minutes we've been ripping and we still have like half a box to go. I'm telling you, these are fun. All right, here we go. So the Lakers, Ant-Man, we're rooting for the Ant-Man there. How about the East? So we got Raptors and the Bulls. Oof. I'm still a little salty about the Raptors and Kawhi Leonard a couple years ago knocking off my 76ers. So I think I gotta be Bulls there. A little salty still, still a little salty. So I think I'm rooting for the Bulls there. We'll see what happens. I like DeMar. I like that combination. So him and Zach Levine. So we'll see what happens. There he is. Great expect expectations. Everyone is expecting him to be phenomenal. He's gonna win rookie of the year by a mile. It's not even gonna be, not, it's not gonna be competitive. He's just, he's the guy. He's the guy everyone's hunting. If you're doing pick your team box breaks, everyone's going for magic for him alone. Should be interesting. Then we got we got Miami and the Hawks. Miami and the Hawks. And this is gonna be an interesting one because Miami and the Hawks, I believe they're the seventh, yeah, they're the seventh and eighth seed. So who do I think could beat up on sick card? It's a sick card. Who do I think? They're there should be facing Boston. Which 
Boston's going to face Philly or the Nets. And since we're Sixers fans, obviously we're rooting for Philly. So who do I think could beat or at least beat up Boston for a few games? I think it's going to be Miami. I think they run over the Hawks. I don't think the Hawks win a game if, if they get past Miami there. I just don't. <laughs> But Boston has a chance to win every single game. I've said that before. I'll say it again. Boston is unreal. They have a chance to sweep everyone. Everyone. It won't. It won't even be fair, in my opinion. When they want to play, they just. It's. It's not even fair. So we'll see what happens. So I think I'm rooting for Miami there in that series. We'll see what happens. KD complete the players. And upside down, another Pacers rookie. So a couple more packs to go. So that's what we're rooting for. OKC. Timberwolves, Bulls, and Miami for the play-in tournament, which starts tomorrow night. We'll be up late for it. Then we got Wednesday. It's NBA Prism release day. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. We got some first off the line hobby boxes. And that's right. We said boxes. That's plural there. Probably just going to rip them for the PC. We might come here to live on YouTube rip them open listen we might even do it during one of the nba games just to have a good time with it so make sure you guys have the notification bell on here on youtube and check out our instagram account so rookie come on laser did get our second laser so not bad our instagram accounts down below or simply search jruth gaming there put the notification bell on for that as well so when we do go live to rip those first off the line hobby boxes you guys get a nice little notification for it well probably i'll probably do it during one of the games i don't know if i'm going to go both of them at the same time or do a couple videos on it won't be a review we're not going to do a review with first off the line we're just going to go live and uh, just rip it and have fun with it the review will come once the retail boxes come out I don't think we get, we did not get a regular hobby box. Just the first two first off the lines we got. So the reviews will come up uh, with the blasters, which should hit our studio. The release day is Wednesday. Probably next week is my, is my guess, but we'll have to see. So let's focus on these cards for the last couple packs here. This is two packs actually. The retail box has done us very, very well. We did get a gold card. We'll take it. We'll take Murray as well. A bunch of nice base cards, a couple cool parallels to go with it. We did only hit two laser rookies so far, but you know what? The fact that we did get one of the gold cards, or I should say yellow, is technically yellow laser, it's what they call it. We will take it. We will take it for sure. I'm not disappointed with it, happy with it for sure. Especially what you're paying for the retail boxes. Something to keep your eyes on. Go to Card Giant, a little shout out to them once again. Make an account on there. They drop products super early. I've had this retail box before I got the blasters. Blasters are first thing to come in. We just haven't had an opportunity to review this at all. So I've had this in studio for a couple weeks already. So you get them early, which is pretty cool. Probably like first to market stuff. Truthfully, you can get some, especially if you're grading, check out Card Giant, get yourself some products early, rip it open, send them to PSA, be first to market with pricing, you never know. All right, everyone, there we go. That's going to be the, the hits from one box. I'll take it. Take it all day. Obviously, I wish it was a rookie here, but I'll take Jimmy B. Good luck to you, bro, over in Miami there. Hopefully, hopefully they get the win out, and hopefully they go beat up Boston. Sorry, Boston fans. I'm a Sixter guy. It is what it is. All right, everyone. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button notification bell. We got more videos dropping later in the week. Have a great night, and take care.